Founded in 1974 by creativity pioneer E. Paul Torrance, the Future Problem Solving Program has given thousands of young people a chance to learn real-world skills, skills they'll need in the 21st century. When you bring future problem solving into your own school, you create a unique opportunity, not just for your students, but for yourself. You learn so much about teaching, about yourself, about relationships with young people, and about relationships that young people form between and among themselves. Each year in the Future Problem Solving Program, students across the nation and around the world study a select series of topics or strands. Then they apply problem solving skills and strategies to those topics. Environmental concerns, legal concerns, technological issues, um, medical issues, the different fields of, of activity, the different fields in which human problems emerge so that students are encouraged not just to think of problems, as students so often do in terms of just maths and science areas, but these are many, many different strands of human activity in which problems will develop and in which we're going to have to work to solve problems. The Future Problem Solving Program is built around three competitive components, team and individual problem solving, team and individual community problem solving, and scenario writing. All three are offered to students from fourth grade through high school, and there are three age divisions, junior for grades four through six, middle for grades seven through nine, and senior for grades 10 through 12. Students in every component grapple with real world issues and they generate real solutions. Many of the, the problems that young people have addressed in future problem solving and the uh, community problem solving, which is a relatively new addition to the program, have actually been adopted, applied, used by people in various ways and places. No matter what the area or topic, the Future Problem Solving Program uses a six-step model as the foundation for dynamic, creative thinking. In team problem solving, for example, students in three different age divisions apply the six-step model to explore challenges and propose solutions to complex social problems. Under the guidance of a teacher or coach, these teams participate in problem solving activities that culminate in an international academic competition. Students are given a future scene which involves a situation that uh, will be seen later on usually 20 years down the road, uh, that will create issues that need to be dealt with. And in the first step, which is called identifying challenges, uh, students go through the process of, after reading their future scene, uh, identifying a, a number of challenges that they need to overcome. And usually, uh, then they move on to step two, which is the underlying problem. And when they are creating their underlying problem, they look at all of the challenges that they've come up with, and they usually use what I like to call the four I's, which are impact, influence, interest, and imagination. And they decide on which of those initial challenges is going to be the one that they feel like they can make the greatest impact on, that they have the greatest influence on based on what they know, uh, which is the most interesting and which will generate the most imagination from each of the team members. And then once they've come up with that underlying problem, then they start thinking of solutions to the problem. And so they generate a number of solutions in step three, and after they generate their solutions, then they look at the solutions they've come up with and they begin to generate criteria in step four. And uh, in step four, they come up with the criteria that they're gonna use to judge their solutions and decide on which is going to be the best. And then uh, they actually apply the criteria in step five, and uh, that is the, the means by which they come up with their best solution. And then in step six, they come up with what is called their action plan, which is their, their plan of attack for the solution that they have chosen. Throughout the six-step process, students are developing people skills, sharing critical analysis as they work toward choosing the best solution. So it's a very logical follow-through. From step one, finding a number of sub-problems and challenges. Step two, the underlying problem you work with. Step three, a number of solutions to it. Step four, criteria for judging them. Step five, application of the criteria. 
and step six, an action plan based on your best solution. The Future Problem Solving Program has rewarded thousands of students for their creativity and hard work. But the greatest reward is the difference this program will make to your students and to you. 10, 15 years from now, it probably will not be important if they know all 50 state capitals, but if they learn the problem solving model and the process, they can use that throughout their life no matter what field of endeavor they happen to be in, no matter what they're doing later on in their lives. It really is a lifelong skill that is part of this event. It's very real. It's a very authentic task for students to have to be involved in. And when they finally catch on to the idea of what you need them to do, it's like a little light bulb turning on. And you feel good about yourself because they feel good about themselves.